When you first launch 3DS Max 2015, you should have a screen very similar to this, where we start with our one minute startup movies. So within this section, you'll see within this drop down here, we've got several different approximately one minute movies to help get you used to the interface. Also, there are online resources here. Then when we look within the start section, we'll see that we have the ability to create a new scene, or once we have recent files, we'll see those recent files show up in this section. Then after that, we can go to the extend menu. And again, these are some online resources where we can download things like scripts or plants. You can share your files online. You can do all kinds of cool stuff. So let's head back to the start section and hit create new scene. We start with Max's default interface. So these four big panels in the middle here, what is called the quad view. Then over here we have our scene explorer. So within the scene explorer, let's slide this over just a little bit. We have different ways to look at and organize how we look at the content of our scene as we start building geometry. Then at the top in this section here, this is called our main toolbar. And you'll see this little grab bar here, that little double tab, is the spot where we can grab and drag that menu and undock it from the viewport. Below that here, we have the ribbon. So within the ribbon, we have some different modeling type tools. Then over here on this side, we have the command panel. And the command panel has quite a few different tabs. So there's create, modify, hierarchy, Lots of different stuff. Within each of those panels, each of those tabs, we have different buttons that we can actually use to create different types of geometry or different types of shapes, whatever it may be. The command panel is a pretty deep area that we're going to have to spend some time with. But what you want to do when you first launch Max is just kind of look around and start to get a handle on where things are. So that's going to be one of the main obstacles that you're going to have when you get started with a tool like 3ds Max is just the volume of information of really where things are located and remembering how to get back to them. That's one of the main things you want to start doing. Clicking in menus, looking at what's in there, thinking about what kinds of things are in each menu, so that as we talk about them and as you go to find them, you'll have a little less trouble finding everything you're looking for. And then over time, all this stuff gets easier and easier and easier. It just becomes a matter of doing it enough that you remember where everything is.